What the Calvary Road is all about is about loving with no limits. He didn't hold back. He gave his very best for each one of us. can be fear, anxiety, and then it's like wonder and acceptance, and then there's the confirmation, and then there's the praise. If we ever want to arrive at anything in the kingdom of God, then you know that it starts in that place of service. It starts from the, the place of attention. Our lives are given away for somebody else. Our worship is rested on a foundation of who Jesus is, and it all starts with that declaration. Jesus rides this donkey through the crowds, and they wave their palm branches, and they throw their cloaks on the ground. They are declaring who Jesus is. They are saying, here is the King of Israel. Let's remember, in the New Testament, you are the temple of God. We are the temple of God. Let's allow ourselves to be consecrated once again. Jesus says to them there, look, I am leaving you an example. And all of the time he was getting lower and lower and lower, humbling himself and becoming like you and me and experiencing what you and I experience, hunger and thirst and pain and difficulty. But he wasn't finished there. The fact that Jesus was in Gethsemane was a choice. You know, Jesus left that garden a different man than the way he entered. Jesus was altered by Gethsemane. Jesus went in struggling with the idea of giving his life and he left the garden ready to submit his life. Pilate said, don't you realize that I have the power and authority either to release you or to crucify you. Jesus opened up his mouth and confessed, unless that power was given by the Father in heaven, you would have no authority over me. If it is not allowed by God, it's not going to happen to me. So loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life.
Please fly.